Good morning, everyone. It's Tom Sidney Bush, aka Numbers, here from Sight Club and the Tom Numbers Show. And I've got my regular co host with me, Rachel Right Side Blonde. Hey, guys. And we've got the boxing extraordinaire in the movement, Mr. David Nino Rodriguez. How are you, buddy? How are you doing, champ? Good. Man, we're coming into some times. Uh, I'm, I'm good, man. I just, uh, you know, I did my morning show this morning and uh, I call it darkest till dawn, darkest uh, until dawn. It's darkest till dawn because I think what we're getting ready to, uh, these are uh, uncharted waters we're getting ready, America's getting ready to go into and it's going to be 1776 on steroids. Yes. Yeah. Did you see the numbers around the, around the queen in 1776? Did you see those? Well, I know it was uh, from that letter in the alphabet's drop until the Queen's death was 1776 days, but I don't know about the yeah. number. Yeah. I know, so, yeah. I know that part. Yeah, you know that one. That's a big yeah. one. And yeah. uh, my actual, uh, my I've got to think of this, so my actual t- Telegram channel, I've got two, but my main one is, I think it's Tom Numbers 1776 or Real Tom Numbers 1776. So I like that number. And if you do 17 plus 76, it comes to 93 Bushnell, which is a nice little personal one. But that was amazing how they timed it, 1776. And on the day that it happened, it was the ninth month of September, and it was the eighth day of the, of the, of the month. So 9 plus 8 equals 17, which is cute. Oh, yeah. And going back to Diana, so when Princess Diana passed, uh, well, when her funeral was back in 1997, she that this time of the funeral service officially recorded and i've been going on about this for a couple of years but people are seeing it all now it was 908 in the morning again nine plus eight is 17. they're putting it right in people's faces you know yeah they are like, and right I find it very interesting i find that very very interesting because it tells me that she had now i'm just speculating here but it tells me that she would have been on ice and they timed it, you know. Yeah. That, that's how I see. There's no other. There's no other. Honestly, I I don't. I just don't think coincidences are at play here. I just think this is all uh, timed. I, that's oh, yeah. how I see it, man. I mean, there's so much going on behind the scenes. People don't even know. I just had Benjamin Fulford on uh, Nino's Corner TV, and I had uh, had Juan, and I'm putting all this together. I feel like this is almost like. I'm getting it. I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying like I'm developing a PhD in this shit. I'm starting to see who's full of shit, who's Mm -hmm. not. I'm taking bits and pieces from this person, from that person. And I'm seeing, I I think I'm becoming really well-rounded at this with all the interviews that I'm getting. And I'm taking bits and pieces from certain people and putting together the puzzle. And I really don't have any doubt at this point that now I'm not completely sold on the military tribunals happening per se, like the way people say they're happening. Yeah, one has been saying that's coming soon. Right, but I but I don't think they're actively happening. There might have been some, right, to a degree, but like, you know, where people refer to like real raw news and this and that, I mean, they said that Alex Jones was dead. I'm interviewing Alex Jones in two hours. I mean, <laughs> not dead. So, I mean, so there's just things, a lot of disinformation going out there to keep people, yeah, to keep people distracted and yeah. mesmerized and, and bought into this illusion of bullshit but uh, I think they're psyops dude I think there's a lot of psyops running simultaneously right now and people yeah. don't know what to believe at all people don't really know what to believe they can assume certain things or presume certain things but for the most part people don't really know what is real and what is not and yeah. what I think now from what all the interviews I've had and the research I've done I think we're being sold an illusion, parallel running illusions uh, with the, something like Real Raw News and then you got M- MSM, mainstream media, pushing mm-hmm. out this Biden administration. I think there is obviously two opposing forces, the black hats and the white hats. We don't know who they are, but it's I think a lot of this shit is done on green screen and CGI because it's that perfected now. And yeah. what we're watching is is a movie to a degree. Now, I don't think it's all um I don't think it's all white hat controlled, but I think that they're both controlling it, if that makes sense. And but the white hats are moving in and mm-hmm. taking over a lot more 
um, like let's say CNN, stuff like that. Like I, I think black cats are losing control and white hats are absorbing it, but yeah. we're still in the death roll of all this. Like this is all, we're still in the fight, man. This, and I think we're winning. And I think both sides are very competent. I think the, you know, the occult side is very arrogant and, and thinks that they're both going in right now, dude. I don't see how this can go on another year. I, I don't see this playing out till 2024, dude. I don't, if it does, we're in big trouble because mm-hmm. I don't think, I don't think we can risk losing the country, the greatest country ever to, to bless this earth to Biden being in there another, another year. I don't, I can't see that playing out that way. I just, yeah. I see it that has to peak right now and it's peaking right now. And there's going to be moves made, especially after this queen's death. I think things are going to start to really speed up. Yeah. Yeah. It but, feels like that. Yeah. It yeah. Does. I, I agree. I, I, if we get to 2024, I mean, who knows, but that seems kind of unthinkable right now. Mm-hmm. And you said about, so doing those numbers again with the 17 you said ice you said you thought she was put on ice so ice is 17 now um, yeah yeah and also the, the good ice that's is, crazy uh, it All is right. man. and if you spell the word 17 it comes to 109 which comes to diana spencer and her funeral service was at nine plus eight which let me, the let me ask you my birthday's coming up what is that out of two nine eighteen? when's 17? your birthday right nine eighteen seventy seven Nine eighteen. Okay, so September eighteenth. Yeah, yeah. Have a look. Oh. And also, boxing is yeah. seventy one, which is Lady Diana seventy one, which is smart as well. And and also, oh, wow. you talk about CNN. So I watched this just last night, um, and uh, with uh, with one of Rachel's uh, friends, and um, so she pointed out on CNN. There's a there's a there's a kind of three part documentary series called Diana. And I remember a few days ago, President Trump saying, well, CNN could be a really good network. We could bring them over. And I thought, oh, wow, that's incredible. Yeah. They seem to be the worst yeah. of the worst. <laughs> but on this CNN documentary, there's a part in there referring to Diana and the royal correspondent. I think it's Jenny Bond in England. She is, um, she's referring, she's kind of referencing what Diana said. She, was, she would go out at night dressed in glasses and a wig so she could go to social places without people recognizing her in the West End of London. I'm like, I recognize some of these areas. And then Jenny Bond says, I, I've never been in a queue. I, I don't know what it's like to be in a queue. I've never been in a queue. And she said, queue, queue, queue three times. And one always says that 17 is Q, which is the 17th letter. But he says they maximize it three times. So I think the bad ones have been maximizing. But I also believe now that the good ones are maximizing it. Because when you do 17 times three, which is Q, the letter Q, it comes to 51, which is great, which is Jasara, which is also Batman, another comfort junior and president trump so it's just in our faces now it's like if we know what the yeah. codes are it's, it's, right it's everywhere on the news and i see the number 17 on everything yeah. i mean it's even i was a non-believer on that stuff and i'm actually taking a look at it now because before, <laughs> uh, yeah i was like i don't know man i mean i but you do, yeah it's everywhere it's everywhere i'm seeing it everywhere so i, I think there's something to it Oh, there is something <clears throat> totally, buddy. And you're seeing it. That's the thing. People are seeing it now. And it's like, okay, I'm going to look at this. I'm going to pay attention. So your 918, 9 plus 18 comes to 27, which is code, which is what we're talking about with numbers. But it's also JFK, 27 JFK. So 9 mm-hmm. plus 18 is 27. And, uh, and also, if you do the numbers, if you do A is the first letter 1, and right through to Z, 26, that's at A plus uh, Z is is one plus twenty six, which is twenty seven, which is your date of birth. So happy mm. birthday, buddy! Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, with JFK on the Eternal Flame, so John F. Kennedy, Eternal Flame comes to two forty three. It also comes to someone in the movement. It's then full name, but I won't mention. But two forty three also comes to Queen uh, um, Queen Elizabeth II, two forty three. So 243 is a super important number. Both sides have. But the important for the really MAGA thing about the JFK Eternal Flame, as you'll know, this is on a queue. It's literally on a huge queue. Right, right. And so it's like JFK 27 with Q. It's just, it's, it's in everyone's faces now. And know? he's going to be 45. Are you going to be 45? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, said, 
you said the year, Nino. So it's I figured people could yeah, do the math. That's right. Yeah, seventy-seven. Well, seventy-seven, buddy. Is, the uh, birthdays just aren't fun anymore, man. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't. Well, been all fun of us good-hearted last... patriots look younger than we are. I'm forty-seven. I know. I, I'm, You're yeah, forty-five. I'm you know. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Baby I'm face. Yeah, Rachel's twenty-six. Yeah, no, I'm not. Twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah. no, but forty-five is is obviously forty-fifth president, and it's also in the uh, the deck of cards. It's um, it's uh, what is it? Forty-five is spade. Yeah, spade. Forty-five. So the top one, the ace of spades, forty-five, forty-fifth president. Um, so yeah, it just goes. It just goes. And they get this ace of spades in November. The way I see it, something has to happen this year. That's the way I see it. Well, November I mean, is the ace of spades. Ace of spades is November. Oof. Are we not allowed to talk about November on? on I guess we're not, right? We can talk about we can talk about the midterms. You know, we don't need to talk about what don't happened a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, we won't yeah, say yeah. the were. We just say we we'll just say midterms. Do we think it's going to happen or not? You know, we can talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. I, what do you I, think? I I think the shenanigans are going to happen. Mm-hmm. And there's no friggin' way because you got to think about it, man. Especially if the, after the movie Two Thousand Mules, you're gonna have people camping out by by ballot stations, drop boxes, whatever. Tailgating. <laughs> right, but but see, but oh, I uh, have to find it. But uh, in fact, I do have it right here. Um, but here is something that bothers me. And I'm going to just say it because I read this the other day. Actually, Juan sent it to me. And it's um, right here. The Department of Justice is refusing to release 15 pages of documents explaining the Biden administration's strategy to implement a voter access policy that is being coordinated with left-wing groups just weeks before the 2022 election. Um, so... And it all came through with his executive order. So to me, it's obviously that it's obvious that they're going to go for it again. And that's in the news, isn't it? Huh? That's all. That's public knowledge. That's in the news. Yeah. 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 And they're already stating why it's going to happen a certain way. I mean, this it's it's going to get. I don't give a shit what anyone thinks. This is going to get really wonky, man. Coming into this, and that's where I would think the most ideal time for any move to be made will be this time because we can't wait till twenty four. No, we cannot wait till twenty four. And if anything's going to be done, it has to be done now. If anything that patriots believe is going to be done, I would think I would assume it has to be done now because I think so. There's just yeah. no way. I just don't. The way we're going is catastrophic. I mean, the railroad's striking Friday. UPS is going to strike. And hyperinflation. I mean, there's just no way to sustain a country like this. You, you, It's mm-hmm. done. We are done. And if something doesn't happen soon, then I will have to believe that nothing was ever planned. And... And I know a lot of people are going to get mad about this, but if there's any time to strike, it has to be now because we can't afford to keep going on down this path till 2024. And then, Oh, just trust the plan. And then 2024 comes. And then what, what, and then what, and then we're, yeah. we're, we're flushed down the toilet. And then, and then we're to believe that Trump is going to run and everything's going to be okay. I don't go for it, man. I don't, I don't buy it. And, uh, and then, then did you see I, the other bit about Trump the, the other day saying that he was taken off the golf course to Washington? Did you see those videos? Yeah. Did you hear anything else about the conclusion of what that meant? No, but I was talking to Benjamin Fulford, and he said that he believes that was Trump's double. Yeah. Because if you, if you know, I'm starting it's to the Mar a Lago golf Trump. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to yeah. see. I'm starting to see now, like. Um, you know, I, there's always pictures being sent to me of people that have taken photos with Trump, mm-hmm. say the real Trump. And I never really thought about this till really right now, till the interview with Benjamin, because every photo they send send me with him, he's tan and he's lost weight, and he's like mm-hmm. giving a thumbs up and he looks good, right? Mm-hmm. The one on the golf course, he's pale, and he has whites around his eyes, he looks slobby. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. It doesn't look like the picture that I see. So there's mm. like, there's there's like I have to wonder about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's know. a few. I wonder what the I wonder what the optics on that were, whether it was 
I'm just always the ever optimist. I always just think it's white hat showing us stuff. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, it's a very, very curious one. And what do you, you think? What do you think is going to happen? Sorry, go on, Rachel. I was just going to say, and then you get sent so many different stories, and it's hard to figure out because I heard from one person that oh, he was just he left his golf course to golf in DC with some with his son, or like there's all these different speculations. Yeah. And it's, it was the 19th tee in DC. Yeah, he had to go right. and fly from 18. <laughs> at None of this. <laughs> To me, it's like we're just watching a big illusion, and and I think both sides are playing it, dude. I, I really, yeah. I think the white hats are absorbing it, but I think both sides. I mean, who's controlled the media for so long? Well, the black hats have, and I think they're losing power, but they still have a, sust- a substantial uh, amount of power left in the mainstream media. So I don't know. I think the white hats have taken over some. I think like what's happening in CNN, stuff like that. But for the most part, I think it's a fight, dude. It's a fight to the mm-hmm. finish, and. We're in the, we're caught in it because if it wasn't, I don't know. I, I think about this often. I mean, Trump definitely upset the apple cart with Hillary. They planned accordingly and they were able to pull off 2020 the way they did because you can't tell me that we would have been, that it had to happen this way. I don't think Trump was planning to purposely lose 2020. I think we're in emergency mode right now. That's what I think. I think this is plan B after plan A failed. I I really thought, I think he knew what was coming in 2020, but I think he much rather have won that election. But the way this is happening is like an emergency gear switch, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, I feel the same way. I feel like it it is worse than they thought it was going to be. Like they probably knew there was going to be cheating, but they didn't realize it was going to be 2000. Mm. Can I say that on here? 2000 donkeys. 2000 donkeys yeah, yeah. bad because uh, it just seems to me man like we're in a predicament now well, i think ultimately on a spiritual level yeah this is better because it is gonna you gotta learn through pain and and america is gonna have to learn you're gonna have to write history books on this and you wouldn't be able to do so if trump got a second term there would have been no history book, books written on this there, there'd be talk or whatever but with the way this happened and the way it's happening and the way it's playing out the red peeling that's occurring, yeah, yeah. Then this will echo throughout, and the and it's going to get much worse. So there has to be a learning lesson here for all yeah. Americans, and I think that's it. I just hope it doesn't get as bad as I've heard it's going to get. And if it does, then that's going to be really, really bad for all of us because food shortages and cartels running things is not a good thing, and. I don't know. I don't know what the cleanup would be on that because we already have over two million immigrants here illegally, and they're buying high-powered magazines. They're going to gun shows, buying up guns. What are they doing? I mean, it's like what are they getting ready for? I think I think we're about to see some fireworks, man. And I, I don't think there's any stopping this. I was going to ask you about how the border because you live in you live on the border, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah is it's it bad. And all that's coming over here right now, man. You guys have no idea. It's it's set. It's it's strategically set to kill everybody in America. That's how they're doing it. They did it with this, mm-hmm. and now they're doing it with the fentanyl. So, you know, kids today is the is the pill popping culture, right? So, you know, everybody in college is taking Adderall or Xanax or doing this and that, and they're all laced and they get one bad pill and they're done. So if there's mm-hmm. parents out there listening, do not, do not let your, you know, at least tell your kids to, to be on the lookout for this stuff because it's killing everybody. Yeah, I mean, there's fine. more deaths. Well, there's more deaths in 2021. I don't even know what they are in 2022, but I have a buddy who has a, um, um, uh, a, a, a center, a rehab center, or a, a something like that. I forget what it is, but he he uh, helps addicts, and the numbers he said that for 2021 surpassed every war since World War II from fentanyl deaths, every motor vehicle accident, every cancer death. It's the number one death. It's a number one killer right now. Is fentanyl for kids that are 20 to 25? And you don't hear anything you know, about it. This no. is the first I've heard about it. Mm. Yeah, and it's over 100,000 deaths in 2021. Over. Now, the funny thing about that is those are instant deaths. People that came in dead from it, from fentanyl. 
Now, the people that it took a while to die, supposedly that was marked up to you know what? Mm. The boogeyman. I won't say that. Yeah. Here, but, you yeah. Know, so so they're they're the way they're doing this, manipulating numbers and pulling the wool over people's lo- eyes. It's really it's a really hard thing, man, for people like me, yourself, and other people to be awake around so many dumbasses. And then yeah. you kind of think to yourself, well, dude, I mean, I finally chalked it up to like did survival of the fittest because that's the only way I can deal with this. Like you're not going to wake everybody up. They're not supposed to be woken up and people are going to die. And there's going to be a lot more deaths in 2022 than 2021 from mm-hmm. fentanyl. The most it's bad, man. It's really bad. Yeah. What you, so <clears throat> when you were saying about if things hadn't gone the way they'd gone, we wouldn't have had this opportunity for the chance to be red pilled for people to wake up. So oh. it's almost like, how about this as a possibility? So I go back to when President Trump, I think he said it during March, uh, well, early 2020 with lockdowns, et cetera, or it might have been just prior. I'm not sure, but it was a video I saw around that time. And he came out in front of the White House, had his long, you know, he had the, the long uh, dark, coat on and he's he's got the press mesmerized and he's like i caught the i caught the swamp i caught them all no one else could have done it but me i caught the swamp and he's just putting it right in their face so i believe president trump as well i do take him at his word and so i'm thinking that and then i'm like okay but now we're into all of this so if he's caught the swamp what does that tell us i'm just saying this is a possibility if he's caught the swamp and we believe him then does it mean that it could be Psy up upon psy up. It could be it could be white hats pretending to be dark hats. It could be. I don't think anything's out of the realm of possibility. But the thing we saw with what happened in 2020 when the world got locked in, that it could have been way 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 worse. But it was almost a protective scenario for a lot of people. I'm not saying there weren't casualties. I'm not saying that. But it seemed from what we were being scared about, you know, this was like the the black plague coming in. Yeah, and and it, everyone everyone did as what they were you know supposed to, and basically everyone was kept indoors, and told to kind of go to their room and have a think about their lives, and so people like you, people like me, people like Rachel, we you know we popped out and we started to say what we felt, and other people did it, and others in the world kind of changed careers. They got you know relationships either improved or they fell apart, but people had this opportunity to be to be protected mm-hmm. in a major way off the streets and to sit in their room and have a think about life. Yeah. And so if you're going to clean up and drain the swamp, and President Trump said, I caught them all, I caught them. So what are all these other little characters and CGIs and actors and psyops upon psyops? And like you said, I agree, there's illusions on both sides. So what is all that about? Could it be that it's actually an invisible safety net for people to go through the opportunity of being red pilled? and to discover things themselves. Because if you tell people, you all know this, you know, we keep telling people the same stuff constantly. We keep, you know, holding the line. They have to the experience it. They, yeah. yeah exactly. But unless they own it themselves, yeah. unless they own it themselves and discover it for themselves, they won't believe it. Yeah. So I have people in my family and other places and they, they, they get small increments of, oh, and it's that aha moment for them. Whereas if I keep telling them, they don't want to hear it. But if they own it, so I'm wondering if this whole thing, and if we're going from a 3D to a 5D, a, a, you know, a far better, beautiful reality, a God divine reality, which I believe we're all going into, maybe it is that they could construct this whole thing in many, many ways that we don't even know, but provide these invisible safety nets for the purpose of people waking up and being red pilled and owning this ascension process themselves. That's I'm just wondering if that's a possibility. I kind of feel and I, I think that. that's a huge possibility because if you think about it, the deep states had decades to condition people into mm-hmm. their thinking. So yes. what you're dealing with already is a brainwashed society that they've worked on for generations, mm-hmm. man, not, not just a couple of years, generations. And now we have to, we have to remedy that. Yes. And fight that with only two, three years time. Yeah. So obviously though, I think what you're saying holds a lot of substance because we don't have, we have a shorter amount of time to mm-hmm. do that to red pill people and it has to be done quicker in order mm-hmm. to save our ass. So we only get, so I think that is a huge possibility. I think that is, I, I just, I just still think we're, I don't think the whole thing is a charade, you know, like some people mm-hmm. do. I think 
that there the fight is alive and well. I just do. Mm-hmm. I think I think both sides are still fighting it out. But I think that it is a sting operation. I think no, no doubt about that for me. From what I the the interviews I've done and everything, I really feel like this is a sting operation in the sense that you're smoking out the leftovers, man. And a lot of yeah. people yeah. And, and 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 they think they're do you know they're playing for that team and they think everything's okay, but they're gonna get their asses arrested and possibly worse because yeah. what they're doing is a crime against the country, all of them. And they're laughing their way to the bank and they're doing this, but I think their, their days are numbered, man. I really do. I, I think it's like, well, they're not, we're not going to lose this. We're not going to lose this. I don't care. Everyone's awake to it. You can't put us back to sleep. There's already too many people who are awake. It's not going to work anymore. It's yeah. like, it's like we see through it all. We see it all, and you. And once that happens, the magic wears off. Once you know how. Once you know how the magic trick works, it's over. It's yeah. over. But it's done. You can't do it anymore. They're on their way down, but they're going to grab as many people as they can. Yeah, that's all basically the way down. that's it's that's like what's happening. Right now. You know, just give up. You already lost. Yeah, they're they taking. They're they're taking everyone down with them. Yeah. The scorched earth policy, basically, is how I see it as well, and that just sucks. Because honestly, the old system has to die anyway, and it would and it would be better if it died on Biden's watch than on Trump's watch. Yeah, because think about it: everything, the destruction of the old system, could not have happened in Trump's time. It couldn't have happened during his watch. Otherwise, it would have never ended. It has to happen on Biden's watch. Yep. So there's that. There's that as well. And it would have if you're going to destroy the old system, you got to blame that guy, which is Biden. Yeah. Yep. So yep. this could also be strategy. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've thought that same thing. Like, this is actually brilliant that Roe v. Wade, that whole thing happened under Biden and all these mm-hmm. other things that Trump wanted to accomplish, never had the chance to. They're happening. And th- these controversial things are happening under Biden. To I, I Dude, I, I really believe like that could be it, man. I mean, it, it, nothing else really makes sense to me. Like I said, that's what I th- believe is happening, but I still think it's a fight. Um, yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. war of con- consciousness, isn't it? It's a war of people's yeah, minds. It really you know, is. It's like President Trump said it. He, we were talking about this last night. Um, President Trump said on, uh, oh, I think it was, what's his name? Uh, thingy Charlie Rose years ago. He said, you know, I'd like to lose it all just to see who's loyal and who's not loyal. But when you think about that, that's a really important. I've kind of got the same feeling in my own life. You know, it's like, I wanted to see. Are it's you happened to me. Right or, that or not? It's happened to me. Yeah. It's yeah. actually happened to me, man. I mean, yeah. I was on top of the world in boxing. And when that whole thing came crumbling down, I saw exactly who was my friends and who wasn't. Exactly. So I feel very fortunate that that's happened to me because now I know who's real and who's not. And you know what? Quite honestly, <laughs> I don't really <laughs> hang out with anybody anymore. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, wow, like people are shitty. I, I don't we know. We know the I feeling. Just, yeah, we know the feeling. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love feeling. <laughs> I don't know if it's just that I'm getting older or what's going on, but I want to be around less and less people. Like I get invited to events, you know, that last event we did, Tom, that's like, that's very, very rare for me to come out and do something like that. Doesn't happen often. Yeah. Probably won't do another one until next year, but (laughs) I just, I just have a hard time being around people, man. I think it's an energy thing too, because we were talking about that. Like, it's just Mm -hmm. so exhausting to go and, and have this, this like, superficial conversation about the weather and you don't want to start a controversy when when you're out in public so you just have to sit there and fake that you're not awake and it's just so annoying oh that's the worst what you just said right now yeah fake that you're not awake you have to like lower your vibration for them (laughs) yeah yeah and they're like and you're just like like yeah (laughs) like on the plane even when i'm on the plane someone's just talking to me i'm like oh shit yeah i put my hat down i look i look tired (laughs) <laughs> I hate it when people say, where are you going? Where are you going? I'm like, it's none of your business. Because if I say yeah. that I'm going to a I Trump do, rally, yeah. you're, you're either going to love me or you're going to hate me. And I just yeah. don't want to deal with it. So I'm going to say, look, oh, there's dude. both sides. There's there's libtards and Trump tarts, dude. I know. Like, there's, uh, there's both sides, man. Just because you're a Trump supporter does not mean you're awake. Being awake is on a whole different level, man. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. That's a yeah. different level, man. That, and, and I'm not, it's just, and I have friends that are, very intelligent, have good jobs, families, and I'm not going to say who they are, but they're completely <laughs> asleep, man. They're completely asleep, and I can't be around it, dude. I just, it's, 
it's agonizing. It's agonizing, mm-hmm. you know. It just is what it is. Yeah. It, it is, is agonizing. Talking of um, events, yes, it was. It was great to catch up with you in Texas and shout out to Baby Trump for putting that on. Um, I'm on the Truth Tour, which is um, with Lewis Holmes, and we're going right around the perimeter of the US. Oh, we're cool. going to be the penultimate, well, two, two stops from the end. We're going to be in Lubbock, Texas. So I don't know how far that's from you. I don't know what you're doing. That's not far at all. Like, come down, man. Come Four come hours, down. three and a half hours, four hours. Come that's not far. Yeah. I love Lubbock. Yeah. When is that? So I'll get the date. It's it, the last one is on the twenty. I'll look it up. Yeah, it's around probably something like I don't know, late late teens in October, something like that. I might be able to swing that. I'll be in Austin from the fourteenth to like the seventeenth or eighteenth. Okay. For a music festival, because I, I hear it is. So it's the eighteenth of October. Love Lubbock is Tuesday, the eighteenth of October. I won't make it. No. Oh. I can't. I I want to go relax the mind and watch, listen to some good music. All right, buddy. Because I know what's coming. Well, we've got I, Tucson. I don't know. Tucson might be too far for you. No, that's Tucson. four hours. Come to Tucson. So we'll be in Tucson on the 20th, two I days later. I can do that. I can do Tucson. All right. Awesome. That would be cool. Yeah, Tucson is cool. That's just down the road. Cool, man. Yeah, we'll get you on it. Lubbock is this way and Tucson's that way. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, awesome. I'll send you the stuff. Yeah. And uh, yeah, truthtour.net. I'll send it all. That'd be awesome. I'd love that. That'd be really good. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. I mean, yeah, man. I, I just feel like I'm going to start buckling, like Juanito says it too. I'm going to start buckling down probably after October 25th is when I think. And this is not a prediction. This is just a gut feeling. So I don't want people to be like, oh, he's predicting dates. I just feel that's when things are going to start really intensifying going into midterm. So I'm going to buckle in. And um and and just kind of have my eyes and ears open because I think that's if things are going to hit I think it's going to be around that. You're making yeah. me want to go grocery shopping right now, Nina. Not going to lie. Get me, <laughs> you should get stuff. that to Costco. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. get it yeah. all That's interesting. I think saying we're going to have disruptions, man. We're going to have disruptions yeah. at some point soon. Juan's well, been kind of talking in and around those sorts of times, but I we we had one on the other day, but I forgot to mention it. So. If you do the numbers on, if you do October, and bearing in mind October 78, which comes to Kennedy, so that's, you know, pretty significant. And you've got the whole thing of Red October. Red is 27, JFK, Red's your birthday, etc. But if you do the numbers on October 28th, that comes, if you spell it out, comes to 271, which comes to 1776, if you spell the full words out as well. So I'm like, oh, really? What date is that? October 28th? Yeah. Yeah. So... I don't know. It's yeah. interesting you're thinking. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I think you're right, dude. I think it, everything adds up to that that time frame. I don't see how it could not. And I'll and to be quite honest with you, I'll be I'll be disappointed. I'll be really I'll really feel like that'll take the wind out of my sails because that'd I'll be a feel, gut punch if it didn't. Yeah, because then I'm gonna know we're really in some shit. Yeah. Then I'm gonna know we're really in some shit and deeper than I ever would have thought. Yeah. And that's when I'm. That's when I'll start worrying a little bit. Not completely because I have faith in God, but and I'll stick it out with my audience all the way through to 24 and beyond if I have to. But I, I will. Like if we got a chance, it seems to me. Take the shot. It's gonna Take be the hit. Now, man. Take the punch. It's, it's yeah. gotta be, dude. Yeah. It's gotta be. I would agree. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. And there's always the stuff around November. So like November is the ace of, is ace of spades. Uh, 94, John John's 94. Um, even Back to the Future, I was talking about it, but November 5th is significant for time travel. And I'm always going on about the movies, but I think it is. It's a, like I sent you that that song the other day, just about God. And I was like, I really liked it. It was catchy. It was new. And I was like, it is. Ultimately, I think this is a God thing. The whole thing is a God divine thing. And again, with those kind of invisible safety parameters, allowing us to be red pilled or to, to, to reawaken to to our own God spark, you know, and I think that's what it is. And when we come together as a, as a collective, as, as humanity, once there's enough of us, then I think that's when we're able to kind of tap into our the divine hive and we're able to make things Yeah, jump the, the, the consciousness it. shift. Yeah. Right, yeah. it's a vibration, man. It's, it's, it's it really is. comes down to that. And, and I think, unfortunately, that only comes with pain, you know, learning through 
as a whole of humanity, we have to go through this pain together uh, to grow. It's growing. Yeah. People. That's how I see it, man. And, 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 and unfortunately, I think we haven't even gone through the the heart of it yet, man. I think it's going to hit soon. Yeah. I, I, I think we're going to really know what's happening in just about a, a month and a half. Yeah. I mean, That's so. what I think, man. I mean, like I said, I'm not good on predictions or whatever, but it's common sense. I'm sure everybody in the audience yeah. can yeah. agree with me right now. We'll, like, we'll know what direction everything's going in about a month. Because, look, it's, it's going to be either uh, intervention or chaos or they – do what they do, the shenanigans they pull, and it yeah. runs smoothly for them. And then, well, that's going to be more for me. That'll be more, uh, uh, d- like for me, that'll be more destructive. That'll be more. I'll lose hope, dude. A lot of hope. I'll have to like re- regain myself and come back to <laughs> because that's going to take a lot of wind out of the seals if it comes off like that. Like if nothing yeah. happens and they go through and they get everything they want again for the midterms. Yeah. I'm I'm dancing around here because we're on YouTube. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Everything that's gonna yeah, be we, disturbing. <laughs> that's this be, whole process as a patriot, it's not for the faint of heart because we've had to lose. It seems like oh yeah, you know, visually had to lose with the inauguration and then all these things and like we know that it might not be real or it might be some kind of a movie or but it's just, it just, it still kills you. Sure, I watched you that entire, the whole day, I like at work, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, something's going to happen. Someone's going to swoop in. <laughs> yeah, this can't oh, be like, reality. I know. Yeah. I know. And, but there's comms, man, during the whole thing. Oh, yeah. The inauguration, yeah. it didn't happen at the right time. There's certain things that, that happened that, and I can go through them. I think Derek Johnson. Two films. Film of that. There were two films of it, weren't there? You know? Yeah, yeah. So to me, to me, I feel comfort in knowing there's something going on behind the scenes. Yeah. And I don't think that with what I'm watching here, that we're going to lose this. Uh, it actually yeah. makes a lot of sense when you're playing 5D chess, not 3D yeah. chess. It makes yeah. more sense of that than anything because, um, but like I said, it's, it, we're, it's, it, we're going to have to wait and see. And I think, I think what we're going to wait for is this coming November. I think yeah. it's common sense, man. I don't think I'm seeing anything out, out, that's no. too crazy no. for people. Well, I this think, is a global marker, isn't it? People are waiting in the world. It's a marker, dude. It's a, it's a marker. marker. And there's Everyone either going to be some, right, there's gonna be some kind of intervention, like we think, or there's not. And if there's not, I think we're in a lot more we're in deeper shit than we fucking know. Yeah. Seriously. I, I that's it. That's that's it. And talking of markers, so to give um people hope on it is President Trump has been retruthing. He's been retruthing Q stuff. Has he? I, yeah. I've heard. I've heard that, but I haven't yeah. looked into it. Yeah, he's been retruthing Q, Q posts and other people referring to Q. So back in the day, when he was asked about Q, early early spring of 2020, when he was on the press, you know, facing the press every night, they asked him the question. He said, "So there's Q," and and uh, he he did a subtle nod. He went like that, like really fractionally, and then. About two or three seconds later, he's like, "Well, I don't know about it, but I've heard that they really like me, so that's cool." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, but he yeah. gave us a he's... yeah, and now he's a, and now he's overtly yeah. and openly. Yeah. So that means we're getting close. So see, that's what I'm saying. The we are getting there. close. The yeah, signs are know. there, and then exactly. in the rally, he's talking about uh, we're gonna ha- we we did the handoff or whatever, and then he's talking about we're gonna give it back to you. The thing that was very cryptic that he said in his last rally was. A lot of you old people won't be here to see it or something like that along those lines. And I was like, huh, I wonder what he's talking about. Like, I mean, I obviously, like, yeah, you know, like, is it, is it this or is it? I was wondering. It's going to get so bad they're, they're just not going to be able to hack it. Maybe. I mean, you got to wonder. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. The music, too. I was at that rally and he played some cue, like a. Yeah, the storm. What was he? Hold the line or what was he playing? He played, he played. First of all, I was sit- sitting behind him and there was three thunder roars like and everybody thought there was literally a storm upside outside. And the, the guy next to me was like, I don't think it was supposed to rain. So he pulled up the weather app to see. I'm like, no, they're playing thunder on the speakers. On the speakers. And then all of a sudden this song starts playing. I've never heard him speak at the end, especially like his the last wrap up of his speeches to music. 
And then the next day on Telegram, people had already figured out who it was. And the song that he was talking to, talking over was where we, it was called Where We Go One, We Go All. Mm. And it was by a guy named wow, Richard. Gives me chills. It yeah. was named, the guy's name is Richard Feelgood. Uh, and if you want to look for him on Spotify, that particular, yeah, it's Richard Feelgood. Yeah. Uh, that particular album is not on, there's Silver Cloud 4 and Silver Cloud 6. And I think that those two songs were on his album, Silver Cloud 5, and that's not on Spotify. So you have to kind of do some digging to find it, but it's, it's there. there. Do you realize the task that Trump has been given to like partake? I mean, this is huge. Because there's no guarantee, man. There's no guarantee. Like, he was told, like, you got to somehow win over the country. Mm -hmm. You got to somehow, now I'm talking about, like, the people that probably approached him. were like, we're counting on you to somehow win over an entire country and red pill them. That's that's incredible. Mm -hmm. When he that's had the incredible. life he had, he basically yeah. sacrificed his entire I mean, well, I would he, love a life. He knows there's no future. <laughs> there's no future for anybody if these people win. Right. There's no mm -hmm. future for any of us. We're done. Yep. Humanity's done. They look at us like hackable animals. They look at us like expendables, um, and you know that's it. We would be born into slavery and bondage and have no life expectancy past what thirty years old. To as long as we can do a job, everything will be AI, and it'll just benefit a small elite. And that's it. All of humanity will, there will be no purpose for us anymore except to serve them. And we are fighting for our species. That's yeah. what this is. And, that, and I, I look at people that, oh, I don't care about politics. I'm like, wow, you're a moron. You don't really, you don't know anything that's going on. You don't deserve to make it. Those, these type of people think like this. You don't deserve it. You don't know what's going on, man. Get out of here. Get out of, I don't even want to be around you. That's why I have a hard time being around anybody. Because this is a battle for our species. <laughs> Same. This is for humanity. This is for this is it, man. This is end yep. game. And people that don't see it like that, that are so asleep, you're not just asleep. You're stupid. And I don't want to be around you. You're that stupid. So yep. bye. I, I'm sorry. This is the way I am. I don't care. And I'll tell people, dude. Trust me, Tom. I tell people. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people. You said yeah. about uh, about red pill. So Trump had to red pill the whole world, well, the nation, but the whole world. So guess what red pill comes to? Red pill comes to 76. Oh, wow. Red, red pill equals 76. And then you've got 1776. 17 is Q. So Q red pill is 1776. Oh, wow. That's what it is. Wow. And that's yeah. What he, that's, yeah. That's what yeah. it is. And, and uh, that's what he had to do. And then Rachel talked about that, um, that song. So if you do the initials for where we go, one, we go also WW, where we... G, uh, one, or whatever it is, that comes to 85, which is storm, which is also awakening. So the storm is also the awakening. And that's what and this he is. He was playing so, that song, basically letting people know. Yeah. And like the first the part, the, yeah. thunder, oh, big, big the, time. the thunder was from another song. And I guess that song is called We I Am Q or We Are Q, yeah. something like that. I Am Q and the storm. Wow. So he took Holy the thunder shit. noise from that song and played it. And then the next song he played that he was speaking over was. Yeah. Send me that, will you? I, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just ready, man. I, I mean, they, all these comms, I guess, cool. But for me, I'm just ready because I think it's here. I don't think we have to wait much longer, man. I, yeah. I think it's here. And I'm like, I, you know, like when a storm comes, cattle, I had a buddy that was a rancher and he would say, whenever a a storm would come, the cattle would feel it first and they would bunch together and the birds would fly lower. That's where I think we're at right now. Yeah. And, and that's like, and but I, not even there, I think we could hear the thunder. Like even dumb people are like, oh shit, it's going to rain. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right though, because you think of the art of war. So President Trump wrote the art of the deal based on the title of the art of war. And so the art of war, we've said it many times, but it's always to appear weaker when you're strong. And so what better way, if you have literally drained the swamp, which I take President Trump at his word that he's done that, his team, Q, the Kennedys, they've all done that. The military, everything's been done. Off-worlders, God, all of the team, it's been done. So if you go from that perspective, what better way to appear 
weak than when you're super strong. Okay, I'll lose the, I'll, you know, it will be taken from me. I'm, he may get arrested. You know, Juan said the other day, he, they're going to charge him. And then he says, so even the play on words of that, he's talking, Juan's talking about President Trump being the mascot, the bullfighter. And he's like, he's baiting them. He's like, come and charge me. And then the ball charges, and then he goes, da-da, and it runs past. Yeah. So he's weak in it, you know, before the kill yeah. shot. So that's why it's accelerating. So the marker of the Queen was a massive was a massive marker. That was a huge marker. And it was loaded with all the Q markers. And now, I don't know when, but there could be something within days. There could be something within the next week. But leading up I think to weeks, man. I don't think that's yeah. 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 It's going I think to be something, more more something's going to happen in September. I don't know what, but I think something – monumental is going to happen in september and then lead into october and then mm -hmm. something big in october and then the shenanigans begin that's how i see yeah. this that's how i think this is going to play out man but i mean don't quote me on that but i got to get on with juanito now uh i gotta get ready cool, hey, i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i'll see you in tucson yes yeah, so i'll send you the details you. and just for a bit of hope for everyone so we don't know exactly when but president trump did say you're gonna have a wonderful christmas now i don't know if it's this year Wait, 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 wait. He said what? So a while ago, during 2020, he said, you're going to have a wonderful Christmas. So he promised everyone a wonderful Christmas. So each Christmas... Yeah, but that was in 2020? Year, I think it was 2020, he said. It was it was oh. during all the shenanigans. So we don't know, because future proves past. So some things come to pass, you know, later. But if we have a big kickoff, you know, between now and then, and, and then who knows? The significant about Christmas is that if you do the numbers... If you do A is the first letter, so equals one, B equals two, C equals three, all the way through to Z, Z, 26. If you add them all up, it comes to a magic number of 351. So if you, one plus two plus three plus four, all the way through to 26, A plus one, A plus B plus C, all the way through, 351. 351 comes to Christmas Day, December 25th. So I don't know, but President Trump did say, we're going to have a wonderful Christmas, whether it's this one, or whether it's 2023 or 2024, I believe him. And I think somewhere between those parameters, we will have a like a, a glorious, divine, magical Christmas that we're all waiting for. I think I think if this shit climaxes, it'll be quick and fast. Yeah. I think I think I, th there's no way we can we can suffer. We can do this the, the way that you know the way they plan this. I think it'll have to be quick and fast. And is you know that's how I see it. Yeah, that's a, you're right. It will be. It will be quick and fast. And and uh, that's it. Because one said about the death, the death kill. Um, and uh, it will be. It will be quick and fast. Um, and then it's rebuilding. Yes, we so wait and see. Yeah, one said as well in the last show we did. He's never really referred, referred to Jasara and Nasara per se. Not when I've done shows with him, but he did say. Then he said you're going to have basically the materials and the resources to do all the things you've ever wanted to do. So to have your personal dreams come true, but also these, also these projects, these, these other things that will, that will re rebuild and make humanity and the earth a better place. And he, he said that. So I'm yeah. like, okay, so we are getting close. He, you know? he told me the same thing, Yeah, but I just, but let's see who makes it through this, this time. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. going to be, that's going to be what counts. So, well, Phil, I, I'll see you guys later. I know. You, I guess you got a call coming in. I know. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> baby Trump, he keeps calling. It's like Chris, stop calling. <laughs> I'll call you back. But, um, but, um, but it's yeah, all right. That's Have all right. Really. All I'll send you the link and we'll we'll do it again soon. But we'll yeah, definitely we'll see you in uh, in Tucson. That would be send awesome. me all the details. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, all right buddy. Good all stuff. Right. All right, man. Take care. Cheers, man. Bye.